um, first we have seen what halves now we are going to see thirds so look at this object I cut into three equal parts so three parts of the same size we call the equal parts so we call the equal part thirds that means equal part third means I uh, what I consider this object then after that I separated into or cut into three equal parts that is what the equal parts how many parts first part this is first part this is second part and third part so I cut into three equal parts now one of the three part is red so the first part I shaded into what I shaded into green color it is not red color I shaded into, I shaded into green color the first part I shaded into green color so one of the three part is green one third is green that one third is called as one by three that is a fraction so look at this object I cut this object into three equal parts I cut the object into three equal parts that is what we call the equal parts are thirds okay so equal parts mean all the parts are in same size then one of the three part is in green color that means I have taken only one part then I shaded into green color so one third is green one third is one by three is what green okay that is what one third means one by three in fraction and after the two third is green two by three is green that after that look at the same object I have already told you I cut into three equal parts so first part only I have shaded I shaded only one part in green color now I shaded into two parts in green color so two third is in green all together three parts uh, first I shaded only one part now I shaded two parts so two third is green first one is only one part I shaded we can call it as one third that is called as one by three is green now I shaded two parts the two third is green we can call it as two by three because total parts first part second part third part so three parts but I shaded only two parts in green color that is what two by three that is called two third is green two by three is fraction we can call it as in words two third so here the same object so I cut into what three equal parts then after that I shaded only one part in green color we can call one of the three part is in green color we can call it as one third in what name that is we can call it as one third is in green color in fraction one by three is in green color okay I think so you understand now fourths so look at this diagram it's a circle so I cut into four parts so four equal parts four parts of the same size four equal parts four parts of the same size one fourth is red one fourth is called as quarter one fourth means altogether first part second part third part and fourth part so this what diagram is cut into equal parts how many parts four parts all the parts are same size okay so one fourth is in red color I shaded the first part first part I shaded in red color we can call it as one fourth one fourth otherwise called as what quarter Q U A R T E R quarter so one fourth is red in color next the diagram look at the second diagram two fourth is in red in color that is the same diagram I cut into equal parts I cut into four equal parts first diagram in the first diagram I showed only one part we can call it as one fourth because this diagram is the circle is cut cut into four equal parts I shaded only one part in red in color that is what we can call it as one fourth is red in color otherwise we can call it as one fourth it's a fraction one by four is a fraction one fourth or one by four we can call it as what quarter okay and this diagram second diagram it is two fourth is in red color the same diagram cut into equal parts four parts then I shared only two diagrams sorry two uh, two parts I shared only two parts so two fourth is red in color in, in fraction 2 by 4 is red in color 2 by 4 if you simplify this number we can get it what 1 by 2 look at this 2 by 4 this 2 fourth uh, they called as 2 fourth 2 fourth is a or two, generally we can call it as 2 fourth so in fraction how we are going to write we write 2 by 4 that means 4 parts equal parts of 4 that is total number of parts of 4 I share is only 2 parts that's, that is what we have written 2 by 4 so 2 by 4 we have to simplify if I divided by 2 what the numerator is 2 the denominator is 4 2 is divided by 2 we can get what 1 and 4 is divided by 2 I can get 2 that is what 1 by 2 so 2 by 4 is equivalent what equivalent what is the equivalent fraction of 2 by 4 1 by 2 so half of the part is red in color so 2 fourth otherwise we can call it as 
what half okay that is what 2 4 means what 2 by 4 in fraction and 2 by 4 is equal in fraction is half 1 by 2 in fraction that is what 2 4 is equal to half okay now the third diagram 3 4 is written in color this is the same what circle I cut into 4 equal parts then I shaded 3 parts in red in color that is what you have written 1 2 and what this is 1 2 and 3 3 parts so here 1 and 2 okay otherwise we can say like this even so 2 and 3 okay 1 2 and 3 so 3 fourth is red in color so I shaded that means 3 parts I shaded in red color that is what 3 fourth is in red in color 3 by 4 is red 3 fourth otherwise 3 by 4 is fraction we, we can call it as 3 fourth 3 fourth means 3 by 4 okay that means in 4 parts I shaded only 3 parts in red in color that is what 3 by 4 fraction 3 fourth we generally we can call it as I think so you understand thirds and fourths and also halves.